Income tax department issues summons to a government contractor over the seizure of 16.4 crores by the IT officials. Election flying squad officials seized 55 lakhs during their routine checks at RDR from a private firm employee. During the investigation, it was found that he doesn't have the required documents for the cash. Following the investigation, IT officials found that he brought the cash from a government contractor by the name Sabison. EC officials informed about the seizure to the IT and the IT officials carried out searches at Sabish's office. Pramod Madhav joining us on the phone line. So Pramod, we're talking about massive recoveries in cash made by the election flying squad to begin with and then subsequently the IT raids which unearthed more cash, uh, in fact stashed up which we can see in those pictures. Can you tell us more about what are the initial uh, information that the IT department is sharing with us on this? Well, it surely is, and it seems like uh, it's raining. It was worth they recovered from a cement factory at Bellur. And even before that, news could go another one where uh, 55 lakhs were. I think we have some disturbance in the audio connection there. We are trying to find out more about this uh, person who was a government contractor, the amount of cash that has been recovered from him, for what purpose they were kept, whether uh, documents supporting this kind of uh, stashing of cash, all those questions remain. We'll try and connect to promote uh, on this story during the broadcast. Well, as of now, the information that we have received is that the Income Tax Department has issued summons to this contractor over the seizure of 16.4 crore rupees by the IT officials. The initial crackdown was made by the election uh, flying squad officials, EC officials who seized 55 lakhs. But during investigation, it was found that there is uh, more cash stashed away by this uh, contractor. Let me get in the information from Pramod once again. Pramod, over to you. Please continue. We lost a line in between. Well, it surely is raining money in the state of Tamil Nadu. And as I exactly mentioned earlier, yesterday, the same sort of money was recovered from Bellur. And even before that news would go away, there's one more that is from Chennai itself. The election squad, flying squad, claimed that they actually caught 55 lakhs from a person. And upon grilling him, he gave another contractor. He's a government contractor. Uh, that, uh, upon this uh, uh, like information from him, they went ahead and in the, uh, investigated the matter where they have, like, uh, uncovered close to 16.4 crores of money that have been kept in the dirty mansions of uh, 200 rupees, 500 rupees, 2,000 rupees categorically, apparently in the way it should be distributed to the voters. So that's a bigger issue right now. Right. And this contractor, government contractor, is also being said to have connections with a sitting minister. So the uh, election commission now claims that all these things will be investigated. This is the second big such issue for this election alone from Tamil Nadu. Absolutely. Distribution of money among voters remains one of the biggest concerns for uh, the free and fair uh, elections. The EC has managed to crack down on this particular individual. Let's hope more information comes out. Thanks for joining us, Pramod.